What's up everybody, Greg here with Lens Portigo and Lens Rentals and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be doing the second part of our Game of Thrones breakdown. This one looking at recreating the scenes that we look at in part one, but here in the studio. I'm going to give you a rundown of all the gear and props that we used, but before we get into that let's play back the scene as a refresher for what we're going for and then we can start shooting. What are you doing in Winterfell? Or did you read every book in the Citadel already? What's wrong? Gilly? Is she alright? She's got a little son. Don't you know? Let's start getting all the gear together so we can get picture up and see what we're looking at. And then I'll give you a quick rundown. If you want something a little more in depth, you're gonna have to check out part three, where I go through all of the actual settings that we used for all the cameras and lights. So starting with the camera, we're going to be shooting on the red weapon with the 8K helium sensor. Now this is total overkill for what we're trying to do, but the real reason we're using this is to have some sort of raw format. So you don't need to have a red if you have a Black Magic that has raw, the Sony FS series, Canon, um, any camera that has raw format that you're going to have more flexibility with post in is going to be a huge asset to sort of recreating these and getting them to look the same. If you don't have a camera that has raw capabilities, uh, the main thing you just want to focus on getting your exposure nailed down while you're shooting and not having that sort of buffer zone for bringing it into post-production. So for the lenses, we're deciding to go with the Sigma Cine Primes, and there's really no specific reason for this. I just like the look of them, super clean, sharp lenses. Um, the real big thing you want to pay attention to is the focal length. Now, I've gone with the 35, 50, and 85, and looking at the footage, that sort of seems like what they're going to stick with. I think for the most part, we're going to stay with the 50 and 85 because that's going to give us the compression and really be able to hide this smaller space that we're in and sort of blur out the background a little more with those longer focal lengths. So I think we're going to stick with between the 50 and 85, but if you have a bigger space, you could probably get away with the 35 as well. So in terms of stabilization, there's really two methods that we're going to be using. A majority of our shots are going to be done on tripod that are just going to be locked down and stable shots. But for the opening shot where we come in on the candles and our main talent there, we are going to be using a slider. Uh, this is just going to give us that nice move from behind the, the wall that we're going to build and into the scene and sort of opening it up. Um, we're using the syrup slider with the Matthews slider stands for the slide with the Matthews head. And then for the tripod, we're using the Sackler DV12 hot pod. Uh, we have this one because we can get a little bit higher with it uh, for one of the shots where we have to shoot over the night. And lastly, for the lights, we have a couple different options here. One of them is a flex panel. The main thing with these is that we want them to be bicolor because we have to do candlelight as well as daylight for some of the shots. So making sure that you have a bicolor light, this is the Westcott Flex bicolor, as well as um, the Matrix RGB, which we're using for our BTS light right now, but we do end up using that in one of the shots. And then we also have some flags just to be able to cut off the light off backgrounds and off talent to make sure that we're only putting light on what we want light to be on. Now let's start getting all the props and building this out. For this scene, there's really three main props. The first one is gonna be the candles. Now, besides just being a prop or like a set decoration, they're also the key light for our main talent in the first shot, as well as being practical lights for a lot of the other shots in the scene. Uh, these I picked up at Walmart. I think they were like $7 for three of them, and they come out looking really clean. So to make them a little rougher looking and beat them up is we cut them in half to get some varying heights, as you can see right here. And then we also took a heat gun to the top of them just to melt it and get that like melted wax running down the side. This takes a long time if you're doing it by just burning the candle. Uh, so using the heat gun really helps it out. The second thing, which isn't really a prop, it's more of a set decoration, is the cave wall that we dolly out from behind into that first shot that's illuminated by these candles. Now, we don't have anything like that in the studio, but as I was coming in this morning in the office, there was some cement blocks out front that I think we could probably stack like in the right way to make it look like the edge of a wall and have it lit up by the candles. So let's go outside and see if we can get those to work. I am going to pull these ones though, because we need more. If I can get this one out. Like that. 
So we were able to get seven of these cement blocks, which I think is gonna be enough to act as our stand for the candles, as well as sort of building this fake wall and having some in the background for the other background candles. Uh, so I'm gonna play around with this for a little bit and see if we can get something that looks good to camera. So the last thing that we need is a big stone statue for the background, which we don't have, and we don't even have a fake one. What we do have is a knight of armor that my buddies over at New Sky Production had in their office. They're gonna let me borrow, and we're gonna use this guy for our statue. So let's bring him inside. So we're just about ready to get set up for the first shot. Uh, we have our camera over here, which is the red Epic W, or this is the weapon, excuse me, with the helium sensor. Uh, we have the Sigma 50 millimeter lens on here, which is giving us the nice compression and sort of scale that we needed for our uh, statue in the background. We have this on the syrup slider just so we're getting a nice smooth move coming from behind the brick to reveal the candles and uh, Jon Snow or actor Eric is going to be playing him. We have our candles over here and then we have our knight in the background. This stuff's all just propped up on pelican cases or on like, I don't even know what this is, some sort of box thing. Um, but that's giving us the height that we need. We have some more candles in the background just as background bokeh. And then the last thing, which is actually our only light in this whole scene, is the Westcott flex light over here, balanced to 2800 Kelvin, uh, which is the lowest can go. I'd probably go a little warmer if I could to match the candle light a little better. Uh, and this is dimmed down to only, I think, 4%. Um, so really no power on this, but we have a shiny statue. It's not sort of a stone look like the actual film has, uh, which is giving us a little more reflection. So we have that dimmed down to compensate for that. You See how you're turning to the side? Right, yeah, you want that So you just want to pull on. it straight forward. Right, right to my face, basically. Blow it out, straight down, and then you turn and look to the side. Makes okay. Sense. And then down. Just bring it down? Yeah. Okay. I think that's the best way to do it. Cool. You ready? Height track real quick, So I think I fucked that up a little bit. Right here. Um, second action. Look back and then sort of step out at the same time so like you're gonna like that everything was good does he look and the then kind of be like it's like straight back and then out yep okay they're back to everything in high school when everything i did was just a remake of a different scene yeah honestly i stand by is a really good way to learn i feel like i need to go a little shallower do you think it's not enough of a i don't think it's blurred enough um we'll go to like a two eight <laughs> i think that's it I think that was good. I think that Since was good. This is my debut. You're who? Jon Snow. Jon Snow. Jon Snow. Okay. Uh, Aegon Targaryen. Aegon Targaryen. The rightful Targaryen. heir to the Iron Throne. I mean, King heir. of the Andals and the First Men. Yeah, but Protector that's... of the realm. First action. Second action. Look. Okay. I think we're good with one of those. Yeah. I mean, this one's obviously brighter, like, all around, but I can bring it down. Yeah, it's those. not a problem, yeah. Um, over left side over OTS. So we're so going to move flip the statue everything. to be here. Um, I'll be in front of the black background, right? Yep. So right. we'll we'll pull the statue like here. So yeah, this guy is going to go here. We might need to do this up even a little more though, because like in the shot, it like it's yeah, really coming up. down on you. How tight are you? So this is where we need the two. Let's um, check the shot again. Wow, they really do cheap out of that, don't they? Not the right. Because the statue in the shot next right, to him is like the same height. eye height. So you want to get, by the way, here. that statue should be coming all the way in, like this far into the frame. Yeah, on basically the bottom, like the And it's bottom me like waist, waist up. up. Yeah. So we'll make sure to, yeah, cut. Yeah, we don't want to see my jeans also, just in general. <laughs> I don't know if that's quite in keeping with our aesthetic here. Uh, so right now we're just swapping out our tripod for the slider with the slider stands. Because uh, we have to get up a little bit higher to get above this knight over here. So we're switching to the um, the Sackler, what is it called? The one the pod. DV12. DV12. SB hot pod hot system. Pod, that's what it is. Because um, this will allow us to get up to the height. Uh, if you don't have a tripod that can go this high, Apple the other boxes. option is yeah, throw Apple boxes underneath each of the feet or Pelican cases or just something to try and get that uh, height on it. And that's backwards. Um, 
So, mm -hmm. yeah, so we need a, a fill on the right side for sure, just for a little bit of light. Just a little bit of, like, daylight almost, because that's, like, a blue color coming in. Yeah, because there's daylight in the background on the wall, but his is still very much... No, his, his, his is, is blue. It, is it blue? That's blue coming in the side. Oh, okay, yeah. no, you're right. So a little blue, and then what's on the... We just need something, probably orange still, just to... Hitting this to give, like, an to edge give the to the edge to it, this yeah. Way. In front of you? Right. So, like, even, like, there with that. I mean, I could move... Just put the diff on you. That's not bad. We lose the this side of it though. Like all. Like oh, the, like the the head. The head part of it, which I think we should see. Okay. Especially since there's nothing in the background anymore. Yeah. I mean, honestly, maybe we'll just use this guy. Our BPS light. Get that out of here. Light intensity. Except we don't want that blue light on there. We need black. Bring this up. Okay, and then throw that in. That needs more output? Yeah. And I can bring the other one down. Because I don't want to. I gotta it. check reading camera. That might work. Except for the blue on the night. Yeah, which we, again, I think our best bet is just to flag off. Keep going. Just that's it. That's it? Yeah. What, what kind of. It's actually doing a lot. Oh, yeah. Look at all on the reflection of the. Move for a second? You're right. Yeah. That. yeah, that's doing quite a bit. But you probably don't want that much. Not quarter. Mm -hmm. We did lose it in the. Corner of oh that. That kind of gives the, the separation. And then I can bring this down if we need to go darker. A little too much blue. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm happy with how that looks. You're getting light. We're getting close. <laughs> Just fine tuning it. We're trying to knock down some of the. Uh, light that's hitting the statue here uh, and then I think we're pretty much ready with everything else nope. right in like that. perfect yeah so I'm literally staring. staring at it All right. go left shoulder to the center so uh, other direction a little more over yeah right there so left foot on the dot Check focus here. And action. Cut. Good. I think that felt good. Well, double check that focus, yeah. Right now, we're trying to do the reverse of the shot we just did with the OTS of the night looking at Jon Snow. Um, now we're trying to flip it and we don't have like 360 of black or like a set to shoot on. So what we're doing is rotating around. So now we need to get all the lights from that side onto this side and kind of just rotate all of the lighting as well. Um, just so we can make the continuity the same between all of it. The edge is a little bit harder. So I think I'm gonna drop out the diffusion because we want to really see like that. Let's get the shot up. This like hard right, right. edge and like rim. And like that very, eye very minimal on the other side, just yeah. enough to see. So we'll get it right outside of frame just so we can get that nice look and then yeah it's it's pretty shadowy on the yeah on the opposite side. Oh, oh, man. Okay. Are we not doing audio? Okay. You wanna stand in with you in closer okay. to too much splash on my right side, left side. Well I guess what angle should I be looking at? Is this the correct You should be This feels like this is the right um like up and over the, like towards Dom, like Dom right now. Like this? Right there. Got it. That's it. And I'll move the the statue over to the left a little more. When we and then a little higher. Do a few in that one. So we need that height. What about those eggs? Egg curtains will work. That should be good. The scene. 
insane, dude. That's like, it's on point two percent. Dude, the major is nuts. Yeah, it's doing a, a good amount. Yeah, I think because it's such a reflective thing. Like the wall, you mean? No, the um, this. Oh, this too. Yeah. Like, I mean, you put the candlelight on, and it's like right, it's all over it. Do you want a smaller flag? Bigger the flag, is better. Right? Uh, that's not something anybody has ever said. That's looking better. That's pretty cool. Uh, and Congratulations. Then we stop down to like a two eight. What did you just do to do that? Um, but I'm at yeah two eight. I mean, we could brighten this up, and I could go to a four. Let's up yep. that a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Now you're getting a little bit of bounce back too off of this. Yeah. Like the white walls and stuff. On yeah, he hears it, and then it's like a second later he like turns around. Yeah, let me take a picture of it on here so you can see it. Yeah, so you can see like cool. the. Yeah. Thing. Okay. So I think that's it. Let's do it. So I'll I'll call out both those actions. Okay. For you. We flip the whole scene around. We have our knight up against the the black curtains now. Um, we're going OTS over our talent, and we have on the left side here, which is our only light. Uh, actually, it's not our only light. It's our key light for our talent, which is the flex. Um, let's see what this is at nine percent. Still at twenty eight hundred Kelvin. Um, so we're still keeping that warm light to go off the, the candles that we had lit before, but we don't have any of those lit right now. Uh, and then our other light over here is the Felix Matrix. This is also at 2800 Kelvin, matching candlelight again. And this is just bouncing off the wall to give a little bit of fill to the shadow side of Jon Snow, as well as our statue. Um, and that's really all we have in this scene. If we go and look at the monitor over here, Jon turns around, which he's going to do right now. You can possibly see in his eye light. If you can't, I'll play the clip right now so you can see it. Like the, the catch light from the Westcott Flex. For the lens, we switched over to the 85 millimeter to get a little more compression between our talent and the statue. Our statue is a little bit smaller than the one that they used in the actual film. So to try and make that look bigger, even though it's farther away, uh, we used the, the longer focal length to compress the image and, and sort of bring that all together. Uh, other than that, nothing else of our settings has really changed. We're shooting at a f4 so we can keep a decent depth of field and that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and shoot this okay and camera's speeding and action deep breath sound turn i think that's good that looked good yeah I think we'll go with that. Okay. Okay, whenever you guys are ready. What are you doing back in Winterfell? Come here, we've broken the Citadel already. What's wrong? Slower on the what's wrong. Like, bring it down and then really let that, like, moment sit in. Like, what's wrong? Like, why aren't you, like, responding okay. to me? Okay. You're, you're... Gilly, is she all right? She's good. All right. Nice. Sick. Good work, guys. We good with this uh, angle? I think so, yeah. Least I'll play it back so you can see. Yes, you're Cheers, Bill. fucking oh, selling yeah. it, man. Yeah. Yeah. Is that yeah. actual? You get water in your eyes? You can, you can not I can see, see you tearing up. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. good. You're, you're fucking killing okay. it. So we just wrapped up the second over-the-shoulder shot where we're over Sam's shoulder shooting John. Um, just what we have is a Felix using a little bit of bounce for our fill side, giving some blue accent light, as well as another Felix P360, just sort of bouncing on the background, as you can see here, to give a little bit of fill and texture we don't have a full set that we're shooting on so it's nice to have a little bit of dimension and color change in the background uh, hopefully that'll work out fine and then we're using our key light again with the Westcott flex um, just with the diffusion on the front of it giving us our key light and sort of wrapping light around our our main talent and that's really all we have for this setup as well it's pretty simple this one had no candles in it so we're just using all of our actual lights for this setup uh, for the lenses we're also using the uh, 85 millimeter like we did with the other over the shoulder, um, just to bring them closer together and make this moment a little more intimate. If you wanna check out the lighting breakdown and talking about all of the gear that we use and all the specific settings, check out part three, which is gonna be linked to at the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed this behind the scenes look, make sure to leave a comment down below and hit that like button. Also subscribe for new videos every single week and I'll see you in the next one.